Welcome to Finder, where we bring you the latest news, information and guides on the wild world of cryptocurrency. Crypto is one of those things you've probably heard about, but you might not really know that much about it. You might even be interested in investing in it, because lately there have been plenty of stories kicking around about if you invested $3 into Bitcoin 10 years ago, you could probably be a millionaire today. While this is true, it's never a good idea to invest in something without knowing why. Crypto is an essentially complicated market with very high highs and very low lows. So if you enjoy the rush of a wild ride, then you're going to want to watch this video. But before we jump in, why don't you click like, subscribe and hit that bell for more videos to help you on your journey to becoming a crypto connoisseur. All right then, let's show you how to invest in crypto. Cryptocurrency has been a hot topic in 2021. Public interest tends to grow whenever the price of cryptocurrency reaches new highs, like it did earlier this year. People might see their friends or family making money and want to join in. Or they might have read an article on a site like, I don't know, finder.com.au. So some people Google crypto or Bitcoin and then try and figure out how to buy some. At the same time, there's a good chance there'll be media stories about the danger of investing in crypto or, at the same time, flip side stories of 18 year olds who've become overnight millionaires by spending $20 into a cryptocurrency meant as a joke. You might have heard of it, it's called Dogecoin. It's easy to think about all the money you might make. Then again, it's easy to think about all the money you might lose. But before we kick in, first things first, let's start at the beginning. What does cryptocurrency actually do and how the hell does it work? Luckily, we are here to answer that. Let's start with cryptocurrency or crypto as it's called. Basically, it's a form of digital currency that's created using a series of complex codes. These codes are used to secure the currency from being stolen or hacked. It's really not that different to how you might secure a safe or an important online account. You use a secure code to stop other people from getting into it. The individual currency are known as coins or tokens. For example, you might own one Bitcoin. One of the key elements of how crypto works is something called the blockchain. You've probably heard of it, but you might not understand what it is. Basically, the blockchain is a way of keeping cryptocurrency out of one person's control, the way a bank or government might control the Australian currency, for example. Blockchain does this through a huge public network of computers so that no single one organization is in control. The database information is stored on computers and is constantly updating. When it receives new data, for example, someone making a purchase, the database for everyone who is connected updates. This continues chronologically and is known as adding a new block in the chain. Because the blockchain operates on so many different locations, it's harder for a hacker to target a weak spot. Okay, so now we're down with the basics of cryptocurrency. Let's get stuck into how you can actually buy some. The easiest way to invest in crypto is through an exchange. An exchange is basically like a bank, but for crypto. You can buy, sell, and sometimes swap one crypto coin for another. Some of the most popular exchanges in Australia are CoinSpot and Swiftix. Binance is another popular one, though it has a global audience and isn't based in Australia. Buying crypto from one of these platforms is exactly the same as buying a share on the stock market. You search for the coin you'd like to invest in, decide how much you'd like to buy, and then transfer the money across from your bank. And that's it. It's really so much more simple than it probably seems. But before we get carried away, there are a few more complex buying strategies that are worth thinking about. For starters, if you plan to invest in cryptocurrency in the long term, it's a good idea to dollar cost average your purchases. What does this mean in English? It means to buy your cryptocurrency in small reoccurring amounts instead of in one massive splurge. Why would you do this? Doing this helps you avoid the crazy swings of the crypto market. You could invest small amounts in say Bitcoin weekly, monthly or quarterly, whatever works best for you. Many exchanges will do this automatically for you in a process called a reoccurring order. Not only is this a safer investment method for newcomers, it automates the process. So once you've set it up, you no longer have to worry about doing anything at all. In fact, you could even sit back with an iced tea and let the exchange buy the crypto for you. This method may have higher fees than you would if you were to do it manually, but the convenience for a newcomer to crypto is probably gonna be worth it. Buying crypto off an exchange is the most popular way of investing for most beginners. It's quick, 
easy and probably the best way to gain exposure to a crypto market without having to be an expert. However, that isn't the only way of investing in crypto. Another way for beginners to invest in crypto would be with an exchange traded fund, also known as an ETF. ETFs are probably a less risky investment than directly buying the crypto itself, but they haven't been as popular because they're a bit slow to get started and gain traction with the public. ETFs are seen as safer investments because you're not actually buying into a crypto asset. Instead, an ETF tracks the price of a group of cryptocurrencies. The risk is less because it's spread across the value of multiple different coins. Think of it this way, if you held just Bitcoin and the price went down by 20%, you would lose 20%. However, if you held an ETF and every other coin in your group didn't go down, your investment would drop far less in value. Many exchanges now offer ETFs for crypto. CoinSpot sells 10 different bundles to choose from instead of just investing in one single coin. There are even options for investors to include crypto in their retirement funds. That's right, you too can throw away your life savings for some magic beans. Just kidding. Jokes aside, self-managed super funds are becoming quite popular as more and more people wanna have more of an active hand in their finances. Self-managed super funds basically let you invest your super as you see fit instead of leaving it up to a super fund. The easiest way to invest your super into crypto is by using popular Aussie exchanges like CoinSpot or SwiftX. You can also contact a financial institution for advice and to invest for you. Now, we're absolutely not recommending running out and staking your entire retirement fund into crypto. Even if it was a stable market for the future, the fees for setting up such a payment are pretty high. But if you do have a self-managed super fund, spreading some of your investment into crypto is a good way to hold onto crypto for the long term. So these are the three main methods of investing in crypto as a beginner, but there are plenty of others. Okay, so now we've got our heads around buying crypto initially, but what about investing our crypto once we've bought it? This is a method that's growing in popularity among coin holders, as it allows you to both invest in cryptocurrency for the long term, as well as earn extra revenue on top of it. The easiest way to do this is through a lending service, which is offered on crypto.com or Binance. This process is super simple. You lock up your crypto coins with an exchange for a desired period of time. The exchange will then lend out your tokens to others. In the meantime, you earn a percentage of interest on the tokens you've put into the platform. You can then withdraw your coins along with the interest earned whenever you like. Staking is another method of investing your cryptocurrency that works quite similarly to a lending service. It is a bit more complex though, and we definitely recommend you undertake a bit of extra research before jumping into it. You can also watch our guide on staking in the video description. In a nutshell, staking is the process of locking up your coins in a crypto network for a specific period of time. These networks then use your coins for the running of their services. This includes lending it, using it as a backup, or to prevent hackers. As a reward for staking your crypto, the network will provide you with additional coins at a percentage rate. You can stake your coins using a certain type of exchange called a decentralized exchange. Like normal exchanges, you can buy, sell, and trade crypto, but the difference is you are making these transactions directly with another person instead of an exchange that holds and deals your crypto assets. That said, some traditional exchanges like Binance have branched out to allow users to stake on their own platform too. Mining is another way of investing your crypto tokens. Mining is how certain cryptocurrencies validate transactions on their network. Mining can be very lucrative, but it's probably one of the most complex method of investing. Not only is it difficult to understand, it's even more difficult to execute. It takes an insane amount of computers, electricity, and technological know-how to pull off. However, you can still get involved as a novice by investing in actual crypto mining companies instead of doing the mining yourself. You can do this on the stock market or sometimes directly via their website. Some of the more popular Bitcoin mining companies include Riot Blockchain and Hive Blockchain. Okay, you still with me? Nice one. Now we've covered the way you can invest in crypto, you might be ready to go and buy a bunch of Bitcoin on an exchange. Okay. Easy tiger, before you head off, there's one more thing you need to do, and that's some research. I know it sounds so boring, but you really do need to check out the cryptocurrencies you are interested in before going ahead and buying. Think about what are you looking for? Look at the price history and what is the latest news on that currency so you can check if it's a good buy. You'll also wanna find out what this particular cryptocurrency does because if you don't understand what it does, at least on a very basic level, don't buy it. The crypto market is hugely volatile. You can lose thousands in a day and the very next day make it all back 
plus some. These wild swings are very exciting, but they are not for the faint of heart and should always be planning for the future with crypto as the prices of popular coins have gone through years of only going down. Unless you're an experienced trader, you should think of your investment in terms of years not months. Even then, nobody knows just how much crypto will be adopted in the future. Will crypto become the standard currency of the entire world? Will it always remain a bit of a mystery or will it collapse entirely? The best way to avoid some of the risks of investing in crypto is to diversify. This means buying multiple different assets instead of pumping all your money into one. And finally, remember, never invest money you can't afford to lose. Now, if this video wasn't enough, you can find our full article on investing in cryptocurrency in Australia in the description below, which provides a more in-depth view on the ways you can invest in your favorite coins. Make sure you check it out. If you have more questions, please leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. And in the meantime, happy investing.